Hi, my name's Julia Gonzalez, and I welcome you to my channel. If you've never been here before, I love to travel to explore different cultures and amazingly delicious foods. This week, I'm gonna show you around a beautiful castle in the hills of Tuscany. You may be wondering, why the veil? The reason why we're in the hills of Tuscany is because my husband and I, after three years, finally got to have our wedding ceremony. And we chose Tuscany as the place that we wanted to bring our friends and family to join us. Castello Volignano is a beautiful 11th century castle nestled in the hills of Tuscany. Just a short 20 minute train ride from Florence, you arrive to a small town of Ponte Seve. Then just a 10 minute drive through the Tuscan hillside and you'll arrive at the Volignano Castle. Relax high on top of the hill in the private gardens and enjoy the sights of the surrounding vineyards and olive groves. Volignano Castle dates back to the 11th century and is considered a unique village. sits the San Michele Volignano Church. The church probably dates back from the 11th century. From what I read, there was a chapel mentioned in a document from 1139. Its history is closely linked to that of the castle of the same name, which was destroyed and rebuilt, then converted into a villa in the late 19th century. Today, the historical residence has been transformed into a beautiful living space I'm just so excited to show you. Take a look. The carefully restored castle consists of approximately 700 square meters or 7,500 square feet of living space organized over three floors and furnished with antique family furniture. The ground floor consists of two spacious living areas, a kitchen, and a huge dining space. So before this property was remodeled for living on this side, this part of the house was the mill for the olive grove. Is it an olive grove? I think it's an olive grove. So this behind me is the actual press that they used to make the olive oil. And because they thought it was such a neat piece, they decided to keep it here. Or maybe they just couldn't move it out. <laughs> it's huge. Also on the property, we had access to our own private pool, which I have to say was a little chilly for me. So the whole lower level across the whole bottom floor has these amazing doors that open up and you can just come out to the gardens and overlook Tuscany. The outside gardens are also home to some fun loving turtles. Or should I say some love making turtles? I think the turtles are mating. <laughs> it's starting to become too fresh. <laughs> All the bedrooms are up in the next two flights of stairs and the stairs don't look to be much but once you go up and down a couple of times they can be tiring. <laughs> The 
The second floor of the castle includes the first of the two master suites and two double bedrooms with another bathroom, which from what my guest said, had an amazing shower. On the next level, you'll find the laundry, a studio space with two single beds, and additionally three other bedrooms, which include a queen, two doubles, and the second master suite. Lastly, you'll have another full bathroom on this level as well. In total, you can have up to 14 people stay at the castle with plenty of space for everyone. Now we're at the very last room, at the very tip top of what used to be the mill. And they made it into a game room. <sighs> I had to change my shirt and I am out of breath. Those stairs, they don't look like much, but when you keep going up and up and up, take your breath away. They have a pool table here that I don't think is exactly pool because the balls are a little different. And they have chests set up, but it's just a really cool place to come up and chill, uh, have some drinks, and check out the view. You don't have to be a princess to stay in this castle. It's as simple as Airbnb. Their season usually starts around April and runs through October. It's a great family getaway or to hold a special event like a wedding. No matter what the reason, it's an amazing place to stay. So what are you gonna do when you're on the beautiful castle grounds and they have these vineyards and beautiful olive trees? Well, you're gonna book a tour. And we booked a tour with wine lady on the road herself, Martina Tangalini, to show us around. In my modest opinion, you're visiting Tuscany in particular in the most exciting moment of the entire year because of the harvest of the grapes. We had so much fun learning about the vineyard and how they make wine and all the details. But I have to mention, the grapes right off the vine are so juicy and yummy. I was so glad they allowed us to have just one. After spending some time in the hot Tuscan sun, it was back to the castle grounds to visit the winery. What's better than staying in a castle? Staying in a castle with unlimited amounts of wine. Unlimited. After having a chance to cool off in the wine cellar, we were off to try some wine and fill our bellies with a light lunch. What's next is one of the many types of salami. Guys, it's not salami. <laughs> it's not <Thank> salami. <laughs> salami. Salami. A couple of pieces of uh, um, cheese per type per person mm -hmm. and three. With Florence being only a short 20 minute train ride away, we ventured into the city to eat at one of our favorite places, the Market of Central Florence, and to take in some sightseeing. <laughs> And of course, on this hot September day, we had to get the infamous gelato. You want cookies? <laughs> that wraps up this week's video. I hope you enjoyed taking a tour of a beautiful 11th century castle in the hills of Tuscany. It was magical. It really was. Nope. No video footage of the wedding. Sorry. I actually have no video coverage of the wedding, but I'll leave you with some pictures. And until next time, get out. There's a whole world you deserve to see. Hi, 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 hi. One last thing I forgot to mention. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I promise I won't call you about your car's extended warranty. I promise. <laughs>